Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be making a chuck back plate for this four jaw um, self-centering bison chuck that I recently purchased. Now I've always found making chuck back plates challenging since you have to maintain fairly tight tolerances to have everything fit snugly. So let me just show you what I'll be making it out of. So I'll be making it out of this piece of um, 4140 that I had lying around. Um, 4140 isn't exactly the best material to be using for a chuck um, since it's a bit hard to machine. Um, ideally you want something a bit softer like cast iron or mild steel but that's all I had. And unfortunately it's um, wider than I can fit in any of my chucks. So what I'll be doing first is drilling a hole in the middle on the mill and then make some sort of fixture to hold it. Um, while I machine the outside. So let's get going. Now that I've got a hole in the center of the plate, um, it's about 20 millimeters wide. I'm planning to make some sort of fixture out of this piece of steel um, to go through the hole and allow me to hold it in the chuck and turn down the outside diameter. And this is just a piece of um, mild steel I had lying around, so it should be easy to machine. Uh, yeah. So now I'm going to drill and tap um, an M10 um, thread um, for this hex bolt that I have to go like this. Well, there's the result. I mean, it looks nice, but unfortunately, um, something um, 
I guess I stuffed up somewhere along the line or the color block is not very accurate um, but um, when I put this in a chuck um, this is not running true so what I'm going what I'm planning to do now is just turn down this part and leave this small bit so I can um, put a wrench on it to tighten this bolt So I've turned down part of the hex side, um, I just need to part off um, about here so that the um, chuck plate can sit and I can tighten it down. So I also made a nice thick um, washer to press the plate down when it um, goes on the um, fixture. So it's just time to assemble it and turn down the outside and possibly face um, one of the sides. So I finished um, machining the outside, I've reduced it by approximately 23 millimeters. Took much longer than I expected. Um, now I'm going to clean up, um, chamfer the um, edges and face this side. Um, so it sits um, nice and flat um, when I put it in the chuck. <laughs> So I've got it out of the um, fixture and mounted in the chuck. I'm going to face this side and then start boring it out to the size of the lip on the lathe spindle, which you have to um, machine very precisely. As you can see, I've started um, boring out the back plate. Um, I've just taken the chuck out of the um, off the lathe to 
double check and measure the um, diameter of the bore that I need. I'm getting about 6.98 using um, a dial bore gauge um, to 6.99. So I'm just going to err on the cautious side and machine out to 6.98. I've um, already put a lot of effort into the back plate, so I don't want to uh, make any mistakes. I was finding the dial bore gauges um, a little bit inconsistent so I've started using one of these. Um, it's an interesting little inside micrometer. I finished boring it out to size. I don't know if that shows up on camera but this was my first attempt. Um, unfortunately it was a bit too loose so then I flipped the chuck back plate over and tried again on the other side and this time um, the fit up is nice and snug. Um, if you run your finger over the two, it's barely noticeable um, bump, but the difference was enough that it was um, loose on the lathe spindle. So now we're going to take it out of the chuck and mount it on the spindle and find out where to um, drill and tap the holes. So I made this little point and hardened it um, to be able to um, put in these um, holes and then use a clamp to leave the, an impression on where to drill and tap the holes. So now that I've got it mounted on the spindle, I'm just going to um, reduce the outside to um, the required diameter and then start um, facing this side for the chuck. So I just started removing metal for the chuck to sit on. As you can see I have to remove a very small amount of the back plate for, for it to fit in the, in the recess of this um, chuck. It's about 4 millimeters. Um, definitely um, somewhere where CNC um, helps a lot since um, doing that manually would be quite tedious and difficult. So I've just finished machining it and tried on the chuck. It nearly fits. I'm pretty sure that when I um, use the bolts to pull it in, the chuck will um, go on. So now I'm just going to chamfer all the edges and start drilling the holes for the chuck. To work out where to drill the holes um, in the back plate to put the chuck on, I've simply taken the jaws out of the chuck and put it in the rotary head and then I'm going to use this um, pointy end of the edge finder to center it in the mill. 
and that way I'll be able to um, rotate the rotary head and I'll be able to drill the holes at exactly the same um, distance in the back plate. So now that I've drilled the holes for the um, bolts, um, I just need to machine um, for the heads to be recessed. So I've set the depth on the um, mill quill. And I'm just going to do that. 